Hello guys, today I will talk about this little thing, the CWO EAF, uh, Electric Automatic Focuser. It's a great thing, but it has its limitations as we will see. But uh, first of all, if you like uh, my videos, uh, press the button down there uh, to the right and start to sub subscribe and follow my Arctic as a photography adventures. Last Friday the weather looked promising. It was a beautiful midwinter day and uh, the forecast promised clear sky for, for the evening. So I set out my cabin uh, to try to catch a galaxy. When the silver of this winter night is shining in drops of ice and I crawl into my bed and the clouds won't help me but at least we keep the voice down those voices inside my Hello guys and welcome to Boden in Swedish Lapland. It's Friday and uh, the sky is clear and uh, I'm sitting here on a reindeer rug on the ice um, at my cabin outside Boden. It's around minus 25 degree cold now so uh, yeah, not, uh, not too bad but uh, pretty cold in a way. So I think I will shoot the galaxy today. I don't know really which one yet, maybe M81, uh, the Bodes Galaxy, or maybe the Edge on NGC 891. We'll see, but I will begin to put up my, my gear. Okay, I have the same problem as uh, last session. This one has frozen the stick for the counterweight, but today I have some better equipment so I will heat this up and hopefully it will loosen the gas burner solved the problem so this one is uh, something that you probably don't need for the south when doing this hobby but uh, here near the arctic circle in these kind of temperatures uh, a small gas burner could be Good to have. Okay, so first of all, I will check uh, the collimation and uh, I use this uh, uh, laser from Farpoint Astro. Okay, the collimation looks good now. So now I will uh, attach the camera and uh, uh, it's as usual the CWO 1600mm I checked uh, my thermometer here and uh, it's actually almost minus 30 degree right now and uh, then all cables get very very stiff so I have to be be very careful so I think everything is connected now and uh, this one of cables here does not look pretty, but I don't want to wind them up either in 
these cold conditions because they are so stiff. So I think there are greater risk that they pull in in the scope when it turns if I move if I wind them up. I let them just hang loose like this. And uh, so tonight I have uh, made a checklist also, and this is something I can recommend you all to do. Uh, so I have written down some important things, so I will not uh, forget them, because it's, it's pretty easy to forget important steps when, uh, when it's very cold like this, and you are so concentrated to not freeze them. So, Checklist tonight tips. <laughs> So here we have some of the subs. So look pretty interesting. It all started quite well. I began to shoot uh, with a luminance filter. The temperature dropped to below minus 30 degrees Celsius, however, and uh, um, after about one hour the EAF started to complain and beep and it could not focus. I tried to release uh, the tension on, on the focus tube in my focuser, but uh, that did not help, so I uh, noticed that uh, the problem was in, in the EAF itself, so I had to unmount it from, from the scope and uh, focus manually. So, uh, it has been a little bit of struggling tonight. I started to shoot with the luminance filter and it all went quite smooth in the beginning. Guiding went a little bit up and down though, but uh, then uh, after two hours the EAF started to complain, it started to beep, so it couldn't move the focuser back and, and forth, so I had to dismantle the EAF and uh, this has happened a couple of times now in temperatures below minus 30 degrees, so uh, it cannot uh, cope with these temperatures unfortunately. So I will uh, continue to focus manually when, it, when it's cold like this. Uh, besides that, it's quite cozy here on my reindeer rug. Oh, I can lay down here and just watch, watch the stars. It's very beautiful. So I have started to shoot uh, with the blue filter now, the last of the color filters, and uh, I will do 10 more subs uh, blue, and then I will change to luminance again. Uh, luminance gives all the details in the image, so <coughs> ah, we will see what, what's happening. Uh, it has been quite many cold nights lately, so I have to admit that I, I long for some warmer temperatures, maybe minus 15, minus 20 degree. Uh, minus 30 is... Well, it's uh, below minus 32 now, almost uh, minus 33. Oh. 
the sky looks uh, still quite good. The moon has disappeared since one, one and a half hour. And uh, right now it feels that I have everything under control. So, but I have to uh, check the focus manually uh, in between every uh, filter change. It's actually very nice right now. I hope it will stay clear for a couple of hours more. I think there should come clouds later during the, the night at 1, 2 a.m. So M81, Bodes Galaxy. I have done it uh, one time before with my refractor. Um, then I got uh, M82 also in, in the same image, but, but with this uh, field of view, I can, uh, I can frame only in M81. I think it's a, a very beautiful galaxy with its large core so I hope I can bring out some details in, in the spiral structure Some, uh, some night I think I will uh, bring my sleeping mattress down here and, and, and my warm sleeping bag. It would be nice to sleep here under the stars. At about 1 a.m. Uh, clouds were coming in so I had to quit shooting. Um, I noticed on my, my Samsung tablet that uh, the focus uh, it was a little bit off in uh, quite many of, of the luminance subs. So probably the EAF had uh, tried to focus and uh, just messed up the, the focus a little bit. Okay, so now the clouds are started to roll in, so I have uh, stopped uh, shooting. Uh, I managed to collect almost 60 subs in total, almost 30 luminance and uh, I think it I got 29 RGB subs but unfortunately I think the EAF messed up uh, two-thirds of uh, of the luminance subs because I, when I checked uh, the focus on on my tablet the first hour looked good and then uh, uh, the EAF tried to adjust the focus and uh, it messed up because it, it uh, couldn't cope with the cold. So um, I probably have to throw away almost uh, 19 subs, I think. So we will see what I can get. But uh, that was all for this night from the ice i will talk more to you tomorrow so see you then i have had uh, problems with ef a couple of times now in in temperatures below minus 25 30 degrees celsius so i can conclude that it uh, cannot really cope with these kind of temperatures uh, i understand that it's uh, 
kind of extreme temperatures to do astrophotography in. But I have to rely on manual focusing until I have found a, a solution for this one. So now I think uh, of uh, constructing a, a heating solution for, for this one. Uh, maybe use a, a kind of a self adhesive uh, heated plate. Uh, which I can power from the ASI Air, but until then I have to uh, rely on manual focusing in extreme temperatures. But I will update you all about the progress in this project, so we'll see what, what I come up to. Well, that was all for now, so don't forget to subscribe and start to follow my, my Arctic as a photographer adventures.